Today, we're exploring the roles of the basal ganglia and cerebellum in movement. These two brain regions play crucial parts in how we coordinate and control our movements. Movement involves a complex interplay between the brain, spinal cord, and muscles. While the motor cortex initiates voluntary movements, the basal ganglia and cerebellum ensure that these movements are smooth, coordinated, and well-timed. Let's start with the basal ganglia. The basal ganglia are a group of nuclei located deep within the brain. They include the caudate nucleus, putamen, globus pallidus, subthalamic nucleus, and substantia nigra. These structures work together to regulate movement, motor control, and learning motor skills. The basal ganglia have several key functions, including initiating movement, suppressing unwanted movements, regulating movement intensity, and motor learning. The basal ganglia uses two main pathways to control movement, the indirect pathway and the direct pathway. The direct pathway facilitates movement by exciting the motor cortex, while the indirect pathway inhibits movement by suppressing the motor cortex. When the basal ganglia are damaged, it can lead to movement disorders, such as Parkinson's disease, which is characterized by tremors, stiffness, and slow movement. It is caused by the degeneration of dopamine-producing neurons in the substantia nigra. Huntington's disease is an inherited disorder that causes uncontrolled movements, emotional disturbances, and cognitive decline. It results from the degeneration of neurons within the basal ganglia. Next, let's look at the cerebellum. Located at the back of the brain, the cerebellum is essential for coordinating voluntary movements, maintaining balance, and ensuring precise timing. The cerebellum has several important functions, including the coordination of movement, maintaining balance and posture, motor learning, and facilitating timing and rhythm. The cerebellum processes input from the motor cortex, spinal cord, and sensory systems. It compares the intended movement with the actual movement and makes adjustments to ensure accuracy. This feedback loop is essential for fine-tuning motor actions. When the cerebellum is damaged, it can lead to coordination and balance problems, such as ataxia, a condition characterized by a lack of coordination and control over voluntary movements. Ataxia can result from genetic conditions, stroke, or injury. Cerebellar tremors are involuntary rhythmic shaking that occurs during purposeful movement, often caused by damage to the cerebellum. The basal ganglia and cerebellum don't work in isolation. They interact with each other and the motor cortex to coordinate movement. The cerebellum provides real-time feedback to adjust movements, while the basal ganglia helps initiate and regulate the intensity of those movements. Let's look at some real-world examples of how the basal ganglia and cerebellum work together. In sports, precise and powerful movements are essential. The basal ganglia helps initiate these movements, while the cerebellum ensures that they are smooth and well-coordinated. Playing an instrument requires fine motor skills and precise timing. The cerebellum fine-tunes these movements, and the basal ganglia helps with motor learning and the execution of complex sequences. Dance involves complex rhythmic movements. The cerebellum plays a crucial role in timing and coordination, while the basal ganglia helps with initiating and sustaining these movements. Rehabilitation for basal ganglia and cerebellar disorders often includes physical therapy, occupational therapy, and specialized exercises to improve coordination, balance, and motor skills. Advancements in research and technology are helping us better understand the roles of the basal ganglia and cerebellum in movement. Techniques like functional MRI, transcranial magnetic stimulation, 
and neurogenetics are providing new insights into how these brain regions work and how we can treat movement disorders more effectively. All right, and there you have it, a brief intro into how the basal ganglia and cerebellum control movement. These brain regions play crucial roles in ensuring our movements are smooth, coordinated, and purposeful.